Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modern Minecraft 1.12, playing on the Direwolf 20 pack. It's raining, and I think we need to do something about that. Let's work on some stuff. There's something in forestry that is going to help us get rid of the rain, so let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're changing up the intro a little bit because, well, I'm just trying something new. Let me know what you think. But today we're going to be working on this. I don't like the rain. I really don't. And we've got Original Junior and Java Dad on and the Morpheus configs are not set up. So, uh, so as for us to be uh, just one person to be able to turn off the rain whenever or, or go to sleep and change it from day to night anyway. So... We're, we're kind of stuck. So we're going to be playing with something called the Rainmaker. Uh, not here. We need to do it right here. So Forestry has something called a Rainmaker. And it's a little bit involved here. We need some tin gears. Okay, so I think we can do that. Right? So boom, 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 boom. Okay. And then we need... We've got glass. Okay, any glass. But we need this hardened casing. And that requires going to the carpenter... We're going to need five buckets of water, uh, four diamonds, and a sturdy casing. I think we can make the sturdy casing. And let's see about the bucket. So we don't have a bucket on us, but we've got some right there. And then we need some diamonds as well. Now, uh, just a little point of note from the last time we were together. had uh, Well, I've gotten some comments in. And so it's probably time to address some of those while we're working on this thing. We're going to need to put, uh, let's do this right here. So Armitage asks, why not just get a moving, or the the wand? It's a wand, right? There's um, something here. Okay, so we've got that in there. We need this and this, and then we need some water. So there's a swapping, uh, that's what it is, swapping wand. Okay, so the swapping wand, what this thing does, you can uh, select a block and then you replace things. So it essentially does the same thing as, say, a an exchanger. And we spent all that time getting an exchanger. And I did, I did go get the exchanger. I don't think I showed you that, by the way, but uh, I did show you the one exchanger, the leadstone. But let's take a look here. Exchanger, okay. So this one right here, I got the resonant. You can see all of my uh, various tanks right here of all the things I needed for it. But this thing does a much larger radius of, or a much larger set of blocks. But um, yeah, why why didn't I do the swapping wand? Well, uh, it's just because I didn't think about it. I used a swapping wand to great effect in the Hyper Antics server. And, and, and so, yeah, I have played with it before it's just i forgot about it and really i like i like the the resonant exchanger it's a pretty cool block or a pretty cool item so uh, i haven't used it that much but hey it's just nice to have that and nice to know that we've got it so we've got our hardened casing now so let's come over here and throw that in there and then see if we can make this rainmaker now this is probably going to be a very short uh, setup here Okay, so does this thing need RF? If it does, we will put it right there. Okay, it doesn't seem to need RF. I do know that it needs something called dissipation charges, however. So let's see if we can build some of those. Okay, so dissipation. So we need some honeydew, royal jelly, and can, and gunpowder. We can make cans right here. Oh my. 12 yes okay and gunpowder oh we might need to work on a gunpowder supply if we're going to be doing this let's get some royal jelly out here too probably should bring back the imperial bee but then yeah we'll see about that honeydew okay and there we go and then we need some water obviously so I hope I can get this done as quick. No, no, go in there. Okay. And then let's see if we can pull up the dissipation charge here. Okay. We'll get our 
recipe in like that. There we go. Okay. And so we should then do that. Okay. And watch it. It. I thought it shoots something up in the air. Yes. Okay. So we can turn off the rain. Excellent. And Original Junior's got some sort of draconic evolution thing. Yep. Yep. It's working right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, anyway, so we can get rid of the rain. That's awesome. What do we need here? We still need some water. Let's make a few more of those just for grins and giggles. So, we'll do that. Okay. And one more. And let's see it making them. Excellent. So, we've got a few more dissipation charges for when the fancy suits us. Like right now. Let's do this. Unless it's Java Dad that is requiring the the rain. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. Awesome. So it may be that Java Dad's trying to keep it raining. I don't know. He's doing B stuff and I'm doing B stuff. And and so yeah, anyway, we could be fighting against each other there. So uh, let's throw all that in there. And we've got dissipation charges now. Excellent. Now the next order of business is uh, something I We've got a couple of projects we need to do. We've got... we got to work on this thing. So that's automating this whole process here. Yeah, I threw on another one of these large storage crates because we're filling up quick. Okay, and then also, what did I do over here? I pulled in the Ghastly Queen. And I think I'm going to have to bring back in the Imperial Queen just to keep the Royal Jelly process going. Let's take a look at gunpowder though. How about that? What's that going to require? So we can make it out of all of that stuff. Niter and nitrate. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that. How about in the centrifuge? Powdery comb? Austere gives a 50% chance. Okay. Is there anything else? No. No. So just the powdery comb and austere gives us that. So we could bring that back out. I don't know what that's doing there. Huh. Okay. So so maybe we'll work on an austere bee. Okay. So we can keep the gunpowder going. And that's simple enough. We've got... Uh, we may have an austere drone. Yes, we do. Okay. So we'll grab that. And then we'll just grab one of these princesses here. And we'll go into our supply. And I should have it somewhere in here. It'd be really cool if we could put all of this into storage. I don't know if it'll show up in storage where you search just for the species. Maybe we should try. I thought we had austere in here. There we go. Okay. So we'll do... Uh, there's our production. We'll need that one. But let's take care of the Rocky Princess right now, and then we can bring that back out. Put our species trait back in there, and then we'll take our production template and put the austere drone in there. And how's our power doing? Not too shabby. Okay, so maybe while those are finishing up, one more thing I want to work on today, and that is it has to do with bees, and it has to do with Eulorium. Okay, so some change, I don't know if it was in 1.7 or earlier, but uh, for some change, we've got, um, we're, we're no longer getting Eulorium out of Eulorium ore. We're getting Uranium. So I've got plenty of Uranium, but I don't really want Uranium. I want Eulorium because uh, you see what I've had to do over here with my thermoelectric generators? We've had to go with lava. Now that's not as efficient as putting Eulorium blocks. This was from early on in the pack, and this is from after 1.7 or 1.6 or I don't know, whatever whatever made that change. Yeah, we can't get Eulorium anymore. So what I want to do is see about something that Teddy here on DadCraft's server, his subscriber server, and so you can check that out if you want to. Uh, he posted something about a lexicon and the lexical transmuter from Thermal Expansion. So let's see if we can make one of these things real quick. We'll get the Forge Lexicon here, and you'll see what this does 
in just a little bit. So uh, let's go like this. Okay. Bring up the lexical transmuter we've got. Okay. Yeah. And something I've noticed in this whole, in this particular pack is that the or dictionarying is not, well, it's not the best. Okay. And it's, it's sufficient. You can work with it, but it's not the best. Oh, I'd never made this thing. Case in point, only some of these gears. So if I was to click on forestry, uh, I wouldn't get a gear recipe. Only if you go to thermal expansion. So that's a little bit of a problem. Let's make this guy. We've got our device frame. And then I think we can make that now. Does this require RF? No, it does not. Okay, so what you do here is you take the item you want to change. Uh, or change. Okay, right there. So we've got Eulorium or Uranium, and we want to change it into Eulorium. So you put the item you want right there in the center, and then you put this in like so, and it, bada bing, bada boom, you get the item you want. And you can put in whole stacks of this stuff, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. And guess what? I do say so myself. So that's what you do with the lexical transmuter. Maybe we can automate this a bit. Oh, what if we got... Um, well, let's get a chest. Okay. Let's get a couple of chests and then we'll get a transfer node like, like so. Okay. And then let's just set this up over here. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Excellent. And we'll come back over here, grab this guy, and then we'll make sure to get a Eulorium. Okay, and then we'll set down our lexical transmuter right there and then put one of these transfer nodes right here like so and a chest right there and there we go. We should be good to go. Let's fill this in. Okay, and and then like like so let's just get a bunch of these things and we'll see if this works. Does it work? Okay, so it's not getting rid of, oh, I see. So that needs to go out to the side. There we go. Excellent. Awesome. So we've got plenty of Eulorium coming in, and that means that we can make some Eulorium blocks now. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Excellent. This is good stuff. So let's come over here and we can replace the lava. <laughs> uh, I, I hesitate getting rid of lava because it can be a pain to come by. So let's get back our buckets. Let's do that. Clear that. Put that back in there. And then let's come over here and grab our tanks. Uh, just one of the tanks will do. Let's get that one. And over here. Okay. So then we can set this down right here. And see about grabbing that and that and that. Okay. And we should be able to just put it right back in there. Like so. Okay. And then we can get rid of that and that. All right. And then we got one, one more. Yep. Okay. And then over here, top. And then how many more of these? Uh, let's see. There's one right there and there. Okay. And so what this is going to do, why, why in the world are we spending our time doing this? Well, the Eulorium is a little bit more it gives a better heat ratio for our, for a thermoelectric generator. So the way thermoelectric generators work, oh, excuse me while my phone goes off there, okay. Thermoelectric generators give you RF based on a temper, temperature differential. And, and so Eulorium is seen as a really hot block. So you get a decent amount of power out of that. I think we've gotten all the lava out of here. So let's go back over here and then we will replace 
all of that with uh, with some items. Okay, and then let's go like this. And then I think there was one more thing. If we have time, one more thing I wanted to play with. If again, if we have time. So this is an interesting way of doing it right here with the thermoelectric generator. But you know, you can actually go with all three sides and and set this up. So we're going to see if we can get all three sides going in just a moment. So what I want to do is just fill these back in and we should be getting a lot more power generation out of that. Excellent. Oh, this is good. Very good. Okay. And so we just got to clean up, clean up the extra stuff here. This was really so I could keep the lava in. So that's all. That's the only reason why we had those decorative blocks there. And let's do that, that, and that. Are we good? We got everything replaced. Okay. So we got plenty of RF coming back in there. And it's not like it matters. We don't have a major storage, uh, power storage thing yet. We will get there eventually, but... For now, what I want to try is uh, something a little bit... Well, we'll see. We'll see if we can make this work. Okay, let's get a little bit more Eulorium out here and see if this will uh, this will work for us. So, here we go. Okay. How about one more, one more set of blocks? Good. Awesome. Okay. Now what I want to do is make one of these thermoelectric generators just, just for a test, okay? So we'll see if we've got the parts in here for it. No, we don't. Oh, I see what we did. Thermo. Okay. We're going to need... Uh, how many of those? Yeah, so we just need one of those for now. Okay. Yeah, we got that now. And then we need Constantin. Can we do this? We do have Constantin. How about the hammer? Yep. We need five of these. Okay. And let's grab that. Awesome. All right. So we've got a thermoelectric generator. We need some packed ice as well. And so we got that. And then what I want to do is see if we can make a phantom face. So we will need the phantom connector. And then I want to make phantom energy face. And do we have... No, we don't have the middle piece. So we need one of these. And I don't know if we've got the rest of this. So let's just make one of those for now. We got that. Okay, basic coil. Then we'll need want the, the advanced coil like so and energy face right here can we do this yes we can so we've got a phantom face and then phantom energy face awesome so i did some prep work in trying to get ready for redoing the mob farm but you see that i haven't really been bothered to redo the mob farm so so yeah uh next order of business let's make it's a thermal electric no thermal dynamics energy cube energy cell basic okay so we'll do this one we need a redstone conductance coil okay and then what's that oh it's an energy cell frame okay that's that's cool okay and then let's see if we can make this guy yes we can okay and then oh, we'll do some upgrades for it as well I think we can we should be able to do the first, at least the first couple of tiers. Yep. So we got that. And iron gear. Good. And we'll do this one. Oh, not enough of the hardened glass. So we need what? Lead. Okay. And obsidian. Yeah. So let's do this. Let's throw some obsidian into the pulverizer and then over here get a couple of those out and then grab the obsidian it should take what two for 
four? No, one for four. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's just get a bunch more obsidian going right there. A little voice crack just for good measure. Okay. So we got that now. All right. Now, what do we want to do? We want to set this up such that, um, just a test. Okay. Just a test. That's all we're doing. And we'll do this right here like so. Then we'll put our thermoelectric generator on like that. And more Eulorium right there. And then here's the interesting part. We're going to take our energy cell, put it right there. It's got a thousand RF in it already. How? Oh, because I was holding it. Okay. Can we put this thing back in there? No, we can't. Um, I want to get, well, we can still measure. Yeah, it, it holds 2 million RF. Okay. Uh, let's put this on there. Okay. And then this. And we should be holding, oh, 18 million RF now. Okay, good. Now what we want to do is set our phantom energy face right there. And then we'll take the phantom connector. And how does that work? Um, we should, we should be able to see this right here. Phantom connector. Hmm. Simple way to connect inventories together. They have very important twist, however. Um, uh, I don't know. Well, let's just try this. Okay. So how about this to this. No. Block stored to this connector. This isn't connected to anything. Shift right click. Okay. There we go. Okay. The connected block is thermoelectric generator. Okay. Excellent. And now, oh, it's raining. Don't worry, we'll come back. But hey, we've got we've got dissipation charges. We're going to get rid of that rain. Of course, the dissipation charges only last for so long. Uh, as we've seen, I think it just it doesn't work that well long term. Let's come over here. And we'll do this, this, and this. And so what that does now we should be seeing input. Input? Come on. Nothing. Huh. There's input, right? Oh, the input's on that side. How about over here? nothing this connection is fine and working i figured this would be sufficient but no phantom energy face it's got no rf coming in it huh well that didn't work okay how about this let's see if we can take that out and we'll put that like so um charging worn items charging held items let's change this okay to, no 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 Ch charging held items worn items huh or or equipment okay this thing it's not getting any input in here shift Hold shift and to finally tune energy control. I don't want output. I want input. Input is blue, right? Huh. Well, how about this? Is that, it's all input, right? So nothing is coming in. I thought that would work. 
but apparently not. No. Huh. Nothing. Well, color me surprised. I thought that was going to work. Well, that's a shame. Let me see if I'm missing something here. I'll be right back and I'll let you know the results of my research. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm I'm not quite sure what's going on here. See, if I put if I put the energy cell, I wouldn't grab the power cell by the way, uh, and just emptied it out of the card. But if we do that, you see that we've got RF loading up. Okay, no problem, right? And it takes it a while when I'm flying to pop that off the top there. Okay, and then we can go in here and just empty out the whole system. Yes, okay. All right, but I've got, okay, let's see. Shift, right click on the thermoelectric generator, shift, right click here, and then shift, right click here, shift, right click here. This should be outputting, and this should be set to all in. And nothing, nothing. There is no RF being transferred. So. Uh, these phantom energy faces, I'm not sure how they're supposed to work. So if you know, I'd like to know. Uh, I'm, I'm maybe missing something or it could be. I've Armitage has already told me that the phantom redstone face, I, I've got that one, that one incorrect as well. Um, I'm not rebuilding those for the time being, but uh, maybe we can go into a creative testing world and see that later. But the phantom energy face is not working. And that would have been really cool to get three sides of a thermoelectric generator going. But what are you going to do anyway? So I think what I'm going to do right now is take this and I'm going to put this on. Uh, let's see. No, you know what we'll do? We'll put this here on top of here. Okay. And that should be filling up. And then we'll put this power cell on the top here. And we'll say top is output and that should be filling up. But what we can do is make sure to attach that. And while we're at it, we're going to use our last dissipation charge. Very exciting. Boom. Bye bye rain. When I first saw those or first heard about those like so far away, but Hey, we got it now. We've got, we've got all the stuff we need for it. And we'll take a sneaky screenshot. There we go. And all in all, we've done we've done pretty good. We've got a rainmaker over there, and we've got the lexical transmuter over here, turning uranium into ylorium. And we've got a failed experiment here with the phantom energy face. But hey, we got another thermoelectric generator going. So how about that? This thing is filling up. It should be filling up here soon. And then it'll fill this guy up. We even made an energy cell. So I would say, despite the failed experiment, and, and you've got to have failed experiments, otherwise, uh, what's the point in checking stuff out? So that's a failed one. If you've got any ideas about the phantom energy faces, let me know. But I think that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Real quick, I almost forgot. Check out the description box below. There's a link to my public Discord. If you got some comments or suggestions or anything, feel free to hit that up. You can reach me a little more real time than, than in here. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.